what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and turn on alerts so you see when the next videos come out today we are going to be reviewing the nyx shine loud lipstick now if you're on tiktok you know that this has been the hype people have been putting it on and wiping their lips and it's no smudge this is what it looks like and I got the shade Make It Work. Now, everyone on TikTok has been putting it on and doing a smudge test, but based off of the product, it does say that it is a pigmented high shine lip color with up to 16 hours zero color transfer wear. So 16 hours, no smudge, no bleed, no fade. You can kiss, drink, hair flip, and even wear it under your mask. So, I haven't seen a wear test yet, so I'm going to put this on, um, and it is, I don't know if you can see that, but it is 9 a.m. right now, and I'm going to wear it throughout the day, and I'll put in um, clippings of eating, drinking, time updates, see if it really holds up, because I feel like a lot of matte lipsticks, they do stay really well as soon as you put it on and it dries, but it usually starts flaking off and cracking throughout the day. So I'm going to put it on and see how long it actually lasts and when it starts um, making some starts, you know, cracking and fading off. My glasses look so weird with my ring light. Um, but like I said, I got the shade Make It Work. They were out of stock of like everything. Um, so I got this one on a limb and I kind of actually really like it. So it comes in like a little brush like that. And I'm just gonna put it on. I should've used lip liner, but. Now I don't have anything else on my lips. No primer, no, you know, chapstick. So I'm doing this in my camera and I'm trying to make sure it looks good. Okay. So we're gonna let that dry and then there's a gloss on this side which we'll go over it with. Now I was gonna just leave this at home so you guys know I'm not touching it up but I think I may want to reapply the gloss throughout the day probably if it gets any kind of like tacky or sticky. Um, oh, what's the guy? Okay, it's already getting really tacky. Um, I think we have to let it sit a little bit longer though. But yeah, I kind of like this color. It's like a plum. I usually go for browns or nudes or like mauves, which is what I was trying to get. Um, but I kind of like this. It's really sticky. Like look. Probably not supposed to do that. All right, so I think this is as dry as it's gonna get right now. It's really tacky. Oh my god, I have to stick on my teeth. Um, it's really tacky and sticky to the touch. I'm afraid if I put my lips together, it's gonna like stick together and peel off. So I'm gonna go in with the gloss side of it. Now it does come on a brush like this. And we're just gonna put that on. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this does feel like just a normal matte lipstick. Um, it's kind of heavy and it's it feels dry on your lips. Um, but that's my first impression. Like I said, I usually feel like matte lipsticks don't rub off right away anyways. Um, it's just like throughout the days they start cracking like around your lips and stuff. So that's really what I want to test. Um, I'll do a smudge test for you really quick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do a smudge test. I got a little piece of toilet paper. And... I mean, 
morning it has a little bit I may have put too much on but it's not too bad it's definitely there but it's not terrible I'm gonna put the gloss back on because the gloss obviously wipes off all right so that's that i'm gonna take this with me just so i can have the gloss i will not be reapplying the lipstick throughout the day and i will check back in with you guys you guys will see me doing everyday things um and seeing how it holds up when we eat drink just anything um so i will be right back with you guys Okay guys, so it is 10.36. It's been about an hour and a half. And this is where we are at. It's kind of cracking and flaking off. Um, I did want to show you this. My coffee, it's kind of coming off on the cup. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply more gloss because it is feeling kind of dry and I like my lips to feel moisturized. Now it's not so bad, it kind of looks like um, an ombre, almost like lighter right here, but it is flaking off, so. Whenever I rub my lips together, it has a very gritty feeling. All right, so that's that, and I will check in here in a little bit. So after eating, it is coming, kind of coming off, you can see. Okay, and it claims 16 hours, and it's been two hours. So, I don't think it's really holding up to its claim. But we'll wait for the rest of the day and see. You and me just know how it feels when we're falling. All right, guys, so it is 2 p.m. And I'll show you. And to be honest, I'm not impressed. I mean, it's been, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's been five hours. And this is what it's looking like. So, I mean, I guess it looks good like this. But it really is starting to flake. It honestly is just reminding me like any normal matte lipstick. Um, it always peels off right here first and just starts flaking. Um, so we'll get a final review later on this evening. But 2 o'clock, 5 hours in, not all that impressed. I've seen better from some lipsticks before. So I'll keep you guys updated. So it is 5.40. So we have had the lipstick on for eight and a half hours. And this is what it's looking like. Now, I'm really not a fan. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, um, I don't think that it's worth all the hype that it has been getting. Um, it's just like really flaking off. Whenever I rub my lips together, it just balls up it just it's not worth all the hype that i feel like it's been getting so as of right now not really impressed i am going to get ready and go to the gym i really want to put the keep this on until you know i get ready for bed to see how long compared to like the 16 hours um if it's going to make any kind of drastic change but as of right now eight and a half hours later not too impressed um definitely since it's at that halfway mark of 16 hours i feel like it would have held together a little bit longer but we'll see i'll keep you guys updated after the gym okay guys i'm dying 
Um, here's my lips so far. It's holding up pretty well for being here at the gym. I wanna wake up with you. All right, guys, I just got back from the gym. It is 8.30 p.m. We're at the 11 and a half mark. Now, today I have gone to work. I've had breakfast, I've had lunch, I've had lots of coffee, I've had protein shake, I've sweat at the gym. It's been a full day. Now, it hasn't been the 16 hours like the lipstick, lipstick claims that it holds up to, but it has been a busy day and I've been wearing a mask and we're just going to see how it held up through the day. So, this is how it's looking. Final thoughts. So, I do want to start off by saying this is an $11, $12 lipstick by NYX. So, it's not a major brand. So, with that being said, I feel like it was good for the price that it was. Now, with it being almost 12 hours from a distance, I feel like it looks really good. Uh, but close up, it is starting to flake. I don't think that it is deserving of all the hype that it's been getting on TikTok. Um, it, it really doesn't smudge that much, but you can kind of see a different tone so it smudges a little bit but it doesn't like smudge on my face uh, but I feel like that's true with really any matte lipstick so I've had lipsticks by Maybelline by NYX like really any matte lipstick stays in place for me I feel like this one would be good with a lighter color probably in the middle just because I hate wearing dark lipstick and it starts flaking and you can just like see the color difference that's just me so i think this would be good for like a night out um if you're going out for a couple hours but i don't really think it's like an all day lipstick i mean it held up pretty well but like i said it's not like a staple item like you have to have it you can literally buy any matte lipstick um, and it's gonna do the same thing. Like you saw in like two hours, it already started flaking. So like I said, it's great, it's smudge proof. It really didn't get on the inside of my mask too much, um, but that's with any matte lipstick. Now, if you put on like a glossy lipstick or something like a cream, of course that's gonna smudge. Um, but the mattes, I feel like they're all pretty comparable and I don't think that you need to go out of your way to wait for these to restock and get a brand new one because it, it was just a normal matte lipstick to me. So that wraps up the review. If you guys haven't already, I would just love if you could subscribe. It really does help me out from person to person. Um, especially if you like this video, just drop a like, maybe a comment. Um, but for now, I will see you guys next week and wish me luck on my LASIK.